today and our second wood brother is John Carlo of Club Lago. <laughs> what is the best thing to eat at the ballpark and what is the worst thing? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ricky, do they have food at Ricky? I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, best thing to eat at Ricky, uh, the W Burger. The worst thing to eat is the Sox fans' butt cheeks. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say a Polish whiff at Sox Park is the best thing to eat. The worst thing, and this is my own prejudice, anything out of a uh, out of a batting helmet. What? <laughs> Why are people eating things out of a batting helmet? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, the panel is going to uh, vote on a couple of tweets. Ooh. This is White Sox versus Cub tweets. Tim Anderson, White Sox shortstop on July 8th. I don't know if that's real or fake, so I cannot support it. That's Tim Anderson. Versus Anthony Rizzo, Cubs first baseman, <laughs> on 11019. Truffles, truffles, and more truffles. <laughs> Kurt St. Cub, which, which is your favorite tweet? They both suck. <laughs> I don't know if this is real or fake. What's he talking about? Like some, some baseball Annie's boob job? I mean, <laughs> hey, I, uh, I love Tim Anderson, but I'm going with Troubles, Troubles, and more Troubles. I can't. I'm, and Rizzo's in a Dago. And so, you know, I, the, the one guy I can root for on the Cubs, Tony Rizzo. <laughs> Lou, your your tweet of the week. Truffles! Yeah, truffles. Gotta say truffles, gotta say truffles. All right, all right, panel, we have a power ranking. You're going to Ooh. rank the classic Hall of Famers of the 1960s. Whoa. We've got Hank Aaron, Roberto Clemente, Ernie Banks, Sandy Koufax, Bob Gibson, and Willie Mays. So That's a lot of good baseball. Yes, <laughs> Lou. Lou, you're our power oh, ranker oh, of the highest ideals. Give us your power ranking of 1960s. Bob Gibson. Gibby. Ernie Bob Banks. Ernie Banks is number five. Number four. Sandy Koufax. Sandy Koufax. Sandy. Hank Aaron. Cameron Hanks, number three. Roberto Clemente. Say hey, Willie hey, Mays. Hey, hey, hey. is <laughs> Number one, let's go to Curtsy. Okay, uh, number six. Uh, Mr. Cub Ernie Banks. Oh! <laughs> and, uh, number five, I will go with Hank Aaron. Aaron Hank. Number four, I'll go with Clemente. <laughs> I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Kovacs for three. Kovacs three. three. Um, so number two, right? I'll go with Bob Gibson. He's the reason they lowered the pitching mound. So your number one is at Willie Mays. Say hey, Willie Mays. Now, John Carlo, Jesus. let's break. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm putting I'm, I'm putting the hitters on the bottom. I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, Hank Aaron is Hank Aaron, but I, I'm putting him at six. Woo! I'm putting Willie Mays at five. Woo! I'm giving uh, uh, Mr. Cub uh, four. Clemente three. Um, uh, I want Kofax at two. All right. I want Gibson at one. The pitcher, man, if we've ever seen yeah, one. Those, the, the, the days of the old pitchers are long gone. They've become um, almost like NFL quarterbacks. Today. Well, you go back to Maddox. I mean, Maddox was, was the real deal yeah. for a long time. The last of the old school. My rankings of that. I'm going to go Gibby six, Kofax five. How can you put Gibby at 
like, an ERA as a starter was like one point eight or something for at least one season. I'm a hit. I'm a hitter's guy, sir. It pains me, but Ernie Banks number four, Clemente number three, and then I'm gonna put Willie Mays number two. Hammer and Hank always been one of my faves, and uh, the, the the courage that it took him to break favor his record. Absolutely. Something I went through as a kid and here, appreciate. Here, here, here. All right, Lou, your question of the week. I'm all ears. What is more American than baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet, Lou? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. It doesn't yeah. get any better than that. Give us your catchphrase out. Let's do the Go Cubs, the Go Sox, and the Go Bears. All right, I want to thank our Guestwood brothers to